Hello, my name is Philip, and in this video we are going to take this little RC boat from AliExpress and put some powerful brushless motors in it. Well, as I already said, I found this boat on AliExpress. It only costs about $42. And as I expected for this price, it is really just a toy for kids. Nevertheless, I bought one to put some powerful brushless motors in it and test how much power we can get out of this little boat. Okay, it has a 2.5 GHz transmitter with two sticks. Although it seems like it has some potential meters on the sticks, there are only some switches at the end of their position. So there's only on or off, nothing between. The steering is done by activating only one of the motors. If you want to turn right, you have to activate the left motor and so on. At the top of the transmitter you can find an additional switch which turns on the little water pump which sits in front of the boat. After removing the battery plate we can see that there is place for 5 1.5 volt batteries. After removing all the screws we can finally see what's inside. In the middle we can see the all-in-one ESC receiver combo, two motors at the end and one in the front. The diameter of the motor is 15 mm and its shaft is 2 mm. Just for fun, I measured the amps with the stock motors. You have an extra safety feature that stops the motors from being activated while they are not in contact with water. Those two pins have to get a connection to each other, either from water or in my case from a small pliers. I put everything back together and made some GoPro footage in my bathtub, just for fun. Well, okay, let's take this boat now to a small lake that's nearby my house to get some better footage. I have to admit that that wasn't really exciting, so let's get on to the tuning. First of all, I disassembled the battery contacts, all three motors and the whole electronic. On my favorite website for RC components, Hobby King, I ordered the following parts. I choose two 2S 600mA LiPo battery packs, three brushless motors with a diameter of 20mm and 5800kV, which results in a total of 42900 RPM in theory. Matching to the motors, I took three 10A car ESCs with forward reverse and brake. And at least I took the Frysky X7S and the X4RA as the transmitter and receiver. The motors are a little bit bigger than the stock ones, so I had to modify the bottom plate of the boat to make them fit. I used a Dremel and some small files. Then I glued the motor seals with some silicone and the motors with some hot glue in place. I used some grease for all the parts I don't want to stick to the glue that comes next. To fix the hole that I made for the bigger motors, I used 2K plastic glue called Rep Plast here in Germany. This is one of the strongest glue I used so far. Next I cut out a part of the top plate and some bridges in the battery case to fit in the front motor for the top water pump and the new LiPo batteries. Because there's such a big hole now for the front motor, I designed a simple cover, printed it out and glued it with some normal 2K glue to the top plate. Some of the last steps were mounting the new water pump motor and adding some grease.
Finally, I sand up the 2K glue to seal it and give it a better finish. Everything seems waterproof, so let's move out to a lake that's nearby my house. After a few test runs I tried to give full throttle, but because of the immense power of the new brushless motors the boat flipped over. I was lucky that it flipped nearby the shore so I was able to drive it back to me, even it was on the wrong side. I can say that the power is more than enough as you can see while the boat almost hit 90 degrees. But I am a little disappointed about the stability of the boat. Additionally I had to stop my tests because one of the motors stopped working because some water leaked through the seals and made it wet. I think I'm going to print a new seal for the motor that is definitely waterproof. Additionally, I'll add some long bars at the end of the boat, such as you may know from drag racers, to keep the boat more horizontal. Some bars left and right will help to prevent the boat from flipping next time. I definitely want to see how fast this little boat can go with some extra little mods. Well, I hope you still enjoyed this video, even though I couldn't make this boat as perfect as I uh, wish I could. And if you want to see the next stage of this project, feel free to subscribe to my channel and get notified if my next video is uploaded. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.